So working on the last set of prelims 2022, question 61 to 80. Now the first question here talked about uh, the people forming opinions and uh, it's basically that some of the people are easily influenced by the opinions of other and that is uh, explained by the author as the cheapest commodity on the earth. That means everyone have their opinion and if you accept those, you would not succeed in any undertaking if you are influenced by the opinions when you reach your decision okay now which of the following is implied by the passage the passage clearly implies that there are people who fail to accumulate money for their needs as clearly mentioned in the first line majority of the people who fail to accumulate money sufficient for their needs are easily influenced by the opinion of the others so c is the right option for this question the next is the main idea of the passage is now the main idea of the passage is people should not be influenced by the opinion of the others note some of you got confused with the point d that uh, people will succeed in an undertaking if they do not accept so this passage does not say if you don't accept the opinion you would succeed rather it says once you have reached your de uh, decision then you should not be influenced by others so people should not be influenced by the opinion of others so a is the right option the next question says the social order is a sacred right which is the basis of all other rights so it's a kind of uh, top right of social order and this is the basis for all other rights now nevertheless this right, right does not come from the nature but must there Therefore, be founded on conventions with reference to the above passage which of the statement is correct conventions are the source of right of man that's totally correct because it clearly says that the social order is a sacred right which is the reason for all other rights and this must be founded on the convention so because social order is founded on convention and it's the basis for all other rights therefore all rights must come from convention so one only is the right option clear the next question here is now two candidates contest the election 80 percent of the voters cast their vote now let's say there are 100 percent voters 80 percent cast their vote now there are no invalid votes no nota x gets 56 percent of the vote so x gets how much 56 percent so y would get how much 44 percent what is the difference between the two 12 percent now how they won by 1400 votes so 12 by 100 multiplied by 80 which is the total number of percentage of casted votes into x is equal to 1440 so x is how much just calculate it and you would have it as uh, 1 lakh uh, sorry 15000 okay so this would be the right answer the next is what is the smallest number greater than 1000 that when divided by any one of the numbers this leaves a remainder 3 so let me first find out the lcm of these numbers so lcm of these numbers is how much 6 9 12 15 and 18 the lcm turns out to be 180 now when i multiply 180 what would be the closest number to 1000 the closest number is 1080 now uh, what this says that it is still leaves, leaves a remainder of 3 that means I add 3 to it so it is 1083 now 1083 becomes the right answer for this question the next question is let p be a two digit number q be a number consisting of the same digits written in reverse order so both of these digits are two digit numbers in reverse orders okay now this the multiplication is 2, 4, 3, 0. So the numbers are 2 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. 5 times. Okay. Uh, so this 3 into 3 into 5 gives me 45. And the remaining numbers when I multiply it gives me 54. So the two numbers are 54 and 45. Definitely correct. I reverse the numbers and I obtain the numbers. And I multiply them. I obtain 2430. So what's their difference? Their difference is 9. So 9 becomes the right answer. The next is P and Q. Now P is prime. Q is composite. Okay. So let me take an example 11 and 6. So the number is 17 which is prime. That's correct. 
देन आई हैव एनी वन कंपोजिट नंबर एंड एनी एनी क्यू विच क्यू विच इज़ अ कंपोजिट नंबर पी विच इज़ अ प्राइम नंबर नाउ ऑल प्राइम नंबर्स एक्सेप्ट टू आर ऑड therefore the multiplication here would be odd since the composite number can be odd or even okay so this can be odd it is can be it's not must be if it is it was must be it wouldn't have been correct because we have an exception of two always there now q by p can be a prime definitely correct because uh, if q has only one other factor then p then in this case this could be a prime number so all the statements 1 2 3 are correct here the next is now this is a very standard type of question the 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 hands of a clock coincide every 65 5 by 11 okay that indicates that 65 minutes 5 by 11 minutes they coincide so after 12 okay they coincide 65 minutes 5 by 11 minutes that means 5 minutes and 5 by 11 is extra now between 3 and uh, if i want to calculate it for 3 it would be 5 into 3 plus 5 by 11 into 3 okay i solve this it gives me how much it gives me a value between 3.16 to 3.17 that's correct so this choice is correct now this was note between hour hand and minute hand the next one is minute hand and second hand and this is one minute now since one minute has already elapsed definitely second hand would have crossed it once so this is automatically correct so both one and two are correct note the second section is about minute hand and second hand the first was about hour hand and minute hand proportion of milk in x clear coming on next a pie chart there are five different items so 360 minus 90 plus 50 plus 45 plus 75 gives me the value for a which is 100 now how much is a 100 upon 360 into 100 which is 250 by 9 so 250 by 9 becomes the right option the next question to encourage research which is one of the functions of the university it is important that uh, researches are not only done for the profitable subjects scientific research is probably never completely valueless that means it has its value always and there is always a chance that the result may be of value to the investigator of talent that means uh, even whatsoever the input goes in this can always lead some valuable results however if the object is not scientific literary or historical there is a risk that the whole business becomes futile so that's what the passage is trying to say so the author's assumption about the scientific research is that it is never without some value because it clearly says scientific research is probably never completely valueless that's the basic key message that it is trying to convey so c option is correct here according to a author any research can be of value to an intelligent investigator as it says intelligence of invest uh, intelligence of the talent is required so investigator of talent is required to see that any research can become valuable if it is even if it is collected by inspired but industrious people the next is how best can the problem of floods and droughts be addressed so that the losses are minimal and the system becomes resilient one important thing is india needs too much water 75% of the precipitation during 120 days and too little for the remaining days this is q distribution can be managed by creating dams and recharging the aquifers by interlinking we can fill up the regional disparities but this focuses on seasonal disparities even if regional disparities are to be build up we definitely need uh, dams or uh, because otherwise the water would flow into the ocean so this is important but ultimate objective is to have a buffer stock through dams and recharging the existing aquifers so d option is the right option here the next question is here we have a sequence right now uh, 3 raised to power m into n now 3 is the number 3 so here we have 15 12 9 6 3 okay how many are the factors here 
वन वन सॉरी टू बिकॉज थ्री इंटू थ्री ओके इट इज थ्री इंटू फोर थ्री इंटू फाइव सो हाउ मेनी फैक्टर्स ऑफ थ्री हियर इट्स टू हियर इट्स वन हियर इट्स वन आई एड ऑल दोज दिस बिकम सिक्स सो द मैक्मम वैल्यू ऑफ एम वुड बी हाउ मच सिक्स clear so why it is 6 because all of these would have 3 as a factor and therefore we have 3 raised to power m into n the next is what is the value of x in the sequence just take the difference okay so that's 10 14 uh then we have sorry 10 24 44 70 okay then you have 14 20 and then it is uh, 26 okay right so then the difference is 6 6 i again add the difference 6 that gives me 32 i add the difference 32 here it gives me 102 and then i add this 102 to this that gives me 252 so 252 is the right option so difference of the difference series a very direct question The next is an interesting problem. I have one non-zero digit. Non-zero means one to nine. So how many possible numbers? Nine. One vowel a e i o and u. So five vowels. And then twenty-six alphabets. So remaining consonants. So twenty-one consonants. So what? If I start with a vowel which is five, I end with consonant which are twenty-one. How many passwords can be possible? So five into nine into twenty-one. That is nine. Forty-five could be the right answer. Okay. Uh, so here, those are all the possible combinations that you would have here. Okay. The next is nine cups are placed in a table arranged in equal number of rows and columns with six cup containing coffee, three cups containing tea. Okay. That means I can have coffee, 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 tea, tea, and tea. or i can have coffee 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 tea tea and tea now here the position of tea could be here here or here there can be three positions and this could be just uh three three ways in which i can have this so 3 into 3 into 3 okay so three ways and c c c c c c in each of those there would be one possibility right here C C C. There can be one possibility. C C. So T can be here or T can be here or T can be here. So three possibilities. The position of C could be three places. So again three. So one into three into three. But again, this C could be here, here or here. Okay. So the understand the position of C here and across the rows. So C single C could be here. Then you could have C C C C C. Or it could be C C C C C C. Okay, so that means how many con combinations? Six combinations can be there. That is one into two into three, right? In one row it is one, in another it is two, in another it is three. So this would be six into. So this one into two into three is six. Now this six multiplied by three into three into three, three into three into one. Okay, plus. Three into three into three. I solve this. I get eighty one as the answer, right? So eighty one would be the uh, right option. Okay, this is fifty four. Okay, so my eighty one combinations. I repeat again. Uh, two ways in which C can be arranged. In this, it is C C C C C and C. So either I can have C here. Uh, C in this row and C in this row. How many C's can be across the rows? And C's position within the place. Okay, so within each, uh, within each uh, row, where the C is, and across columns, the position of the C. Two things need to be taken into account. What is the number in the form zero point x y, where x and y are distinct non-zero digits? Okay, they are non-zero. That means Y could be from one to nine, so nine possible possibilities. Now, one of the number already at the position of x, x could be from one to nine, so nine possibilities. Now, one of the number is already at x, so what could be the position of nine? 
okay uh, the position of 9 uh, position of y okay y has to be distinct that means it cannot be the same number so one number is already gone so eight other numbers can be possible so 9 into 8 that gives me 72 so 72 are the possible uh, numbers of number of numbers that could be kept here so it could be 0 0.13 0 0.31 0 0.1213 and so on okay the next is the average weight a plus b plus c is equal to 14 to 3 uh, b plus d plus e is equal to 42 into 3 if i add this this gives me a plus 2b plus c plus d plus e is equal to uh, 120 and 126 which is uh, 246 right now i know b is equal to f okay so rather than writing 2b i can write it as b plus f so this gives me a plus b plus c plus d plus f is equal to 246 now average of all these would be 246 divided by 6 which is 41 so 41 comes out to be the right answer for this question so this was the last question for your cz i hope you enjoyed the paper uh, some of the questions were tricky but most of them were approachable so just practice more and this time mathematics was uh, more quant was more in contrast to reading comprehension reading comprehension the passages were relatively simple and easy uh, however last year the things were uh, different so every time you have a different uh, kind of papers you need to practice definitely for both the sections very well wish you good luck if you have any questions post those on the comment section